we're going to talk about how to implement the load word instruction. In this particular example, we're going to use some concrete values to help you understand it. Um, so as a reminder, the goal of a load is to take stuff from data memory and put it into the register file. To implement this, the first thing we need to do is figure out what address in memory we want to load from. And so from that, we have our base plus our offset. To get this base plus offset, we're going to want to use our ALU, which can do addition. So we're going to set our opcode to add. And our base comes from the RS register. Our offset comes from an immediate. So to make this work, we will need to set our ALU source 1 to the immediate. So we're going to add the offset to our base. This is our offset. The output of the ALU will then be the address that we actually want to read, uh, read data from, from the memory. So that is our address. In this situation, we are only doing reads, no writes. So both of these write and able should be zero. Um, and we don't really care what our data input is then in this particular instance. So the next thing we need to figure out is we want to take something from our data, the data that's coming out of our data memory, which will be a 32-bit piece of information, and we want to send that to our register file. So this is going to come out, and we're going to replace, we're going to place a mux to choose between the ALU, and then we're going to have a 1 here for when we want to do a load. So here, we're going to have some signal that says load. It's going to be equal to 1 when the, we're doing a read operation or load operation, and that's going to feed back into the read data. It means we're going to need a new signal coming out of our decoder for load. And then, because we're, uh, we are our destination is going to be defined by this register here. So this is an RT, it's an I type instruction. So you'll need to set RD source to one, our write enable to one. And then just to make this clear, in this situation, RS is going to have the value four. RT is going to then have value five. And our immediate, will be a 16-bit version of the number 4.